There's still going to be confusion over what the Scarborough allergy is going to be and what allergy is in general. When I was trying to figure out the best way to clear up this confusion, I thought of using Euclid's elements of geometry to explain it, but since it's a 2300 year old document, I figured I'd use something a little more current. So I went with this one instead. My grade 5 students learned that while all squares are rectangles, not all rectangles are squares. Squares are mainly a specific type of rectangle. The same is true for, same is true for LRTs. All streetcars are LRTs, but not, LRT, not all LRTs are streetcars. Streetcars are merely a specific type of LRT. Streetcars usually operate in downtown cores of cities. They tend to operate as single car trains only, in revenue service that is. The stops tend to be close together, and that delays travel time. LRTs, on the other hand, usually operate in mid and uptown portions of cities. They can operate as single car trains, but also in two, three, and so on car trains. The stops tend to be farther apart, and this affects the travel time and speeds up the travel time. Other cities in North America have both LRT and streetcar lines. Port of Oregon currently operates four LRT lines and two streetcar lines. They also have a Go Transit version. That's not in this report. The Metrolinx LRT car is the single largest vehicle the TTC has ever operated. One Metrolinx LRT car will carry more passengers than the entire SRT train. A two car Metrolinx LRT train will carry three quarters of the capacity of the Shepherd's subway cars. A three car Metrolinx LRT train will carry three quarters of the capacity of a Lower Danforth subway. And while not in the plan, a four car LRT is the same as a six car subway train. Even with a three car LRT train, each LRT train will carry three times more passengers than what, than what we've got now. This is our current Scarborough RT map. This is the new extension. To get to this new line, a new platform will be built for the LRT, and two new stations will be added. The remaining stations will be modified to fit the new trains, platforms will be extended lowered, roofs will be raised, and tracks will be replaced and modified for the new power source. This is scheduled to start after the end of Pan Am Games, and go to, could go to 2019. This will be relying on buses, to get from Kennedy to McCallum Station for almost four years. Our newly ordered articulated buses will help some. Even with that, the new, with the new articulated buses, the crowding is going to be significant. Right now, about 75 to 80% of rush hour passengers on the SRT can audit Kennedy and stay on the train to Scarborough Center. What if to facilitate the construction and keep as many people moving as possible? We close Lawrence East, Ellesmere, Midland, and McCallum stations. The SRT trains would run express from Canyon, Scarborough, etc. The closed stations would be walled up while the SRT trains are going through them. On the other side of the walls, the stations would be modified to fit the new LRT vehicles. There would still be some need for some buses between these stations as well. A Union station is being done right now. Platform and station modifications are being done on the other side of the wall. Meanwhile, trains are still using the rails during the modifications. I realize that this is a Metrolinx project, but since Metrolinx and the DTC are now joined at the hip, we have influence with them. <laughs> Having these two stops open during the first two or so years during the conversion to LRT will significantly reduce the passenger disruption for Scarborough commuters. Just to point out that the LRT is a different technology, it's not a lesser technology. Thank you. Thank you very much, John. Are there any questions? Yeah, I think there's some questions for you. Um, Mr. Vice Chair Thank you. And I'd love to get a, a copy or a link to your uh, PowerPoint later on because it's very well set up. Um, so, from your perspective, years do you think it will, there will be disruption on the line? Forgetting about your, your proposal or our proposal, but from right now you're looking at four years, four years. 
But I think if we go with my proposal, we can cut that to two years for a major portion of our commuters in the Scarborough Center of line. And I can't remember if I, I saw because things were flashing by frequently. How many buses do you shut? If we don't use an SRT or have something else there, how many shuttle buses do you think we, the TTC, are going to employ to get people from A to B or down to Kennedy Station? Each each train uses 220 people. That's five buses to replace each train. So we're talking hundreds of buses. Well, the hundreds of bus trips, yes. Yeah, we only good. have six trains in, in service at any given time, unfortunately. We have very few cars. Yeah. And, and then they'll basically go to continual loop from the Scarborough Town Center down to Kennedy Station and back and just keep circling the yeah. goal until we finish construction. Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any other questions? Yes. Thank you very much uh, for the excellent presentation. Uh, Someone told me that uh, instead of an LRT at the SLT line, uh, if we build this subway, there's no disruption. Uh, uh, SRT is still running, but we run the ground subway, which costs only half a billion dollars more. Do you think it's a better plan than replacing SRT with the LRT? How much does it get to the, how much is it going to cost us to get to Mount Winchester Town Center? Uh, my idea it will be uh, <laughs> 500 billion dollars. You just answered your question, Mr. Commissioner. Because we can get more with the same. The LRT right now, there will be some disruption, and that is, that's the nature of construction everywhere. But the LRT right now is a dedicated line. It doesn't interfere with traffic anywhere along its route. You have the same speed as the subway. Same speed as the subway? Yeah, same speed as the subway, because it doesn't have to stop for cars, it doesn't have to stop for trains, it doesn't have to stop, it just stops and stops. It's a dedicated line. It doesn't cross anybody else's traffic. So you've got the same speed, you just have a different shaped train. Thank you very much. Any other questions? Okay, there's a, um, there's a speaker. To the item. Now, there's no report in front of the commission because it's here as a result of correspondence that we've referred to this commission to hear deputations on. But uh, the vice chair has a motion. 